part of our effort to use this power of TV for good as often as possible. We wrap up today with a shout out to the nonprofit Unfaulted. So if you're not familiar, it exists to build a foundation for young women who have aged out of the foster care system. Angela Lippins and Karim Bird are the co-founders of Unfaulted and they are here with us now. Hello, ladies. Hi. Okay, Angela, I'll start with you. You're really sure. bridging a gap here. Can you talk about why an organization like this is so important? Yeah, absolutely. So when a youth ages out of foster care at 18, they're not necessarily ready for life all on their own. I don't think any of us are ready for life totally. on our own totally. at any age, right? Mm -hmm. But much less at 18. I know I wasn't ready for independence at that age. And so we really strive to, like you said, bridge that gap and to bring a sense of community for those youth who are 18 and aging out because nobody should be doing life alone. No, I totally agree. Can you talk about some of the, the challenges that could happen you know, if somebody does age out and they don't have an organization like yours? Absolutely. So there's about 23,000 youth who age out of care in America every year. That's just on average. And we see a large number of those here in the DFW area. And so if you're aging out at 18, you don't have community, it's not only not having a mom or a dad, right you've a lot of times moved around so often in your time in foster care that you haven't really developed a sense of community anywhere you know there's no aunts and uncles to call on there's no high school friends that I was in the same high school and we went into class together all four years in a row you've moved and you've transitioned and you've changed your whole life so that sense of community just doesn't exist okay Corinne there, there seems to be this disconnect where I mean really there are a lot of people who want to take in a child they want to adopt but then I'm hearing the number from the statistic you just shared that there are so many that are not you know receiving a home long term can you explain sort of what the disconnect is or why that's happening these children that are in foster care they're bouncing around from ho mm -hmm. from home to home or uh, RTC a residential treatment center um, and they're just getting moved all over the place so that can be a challenge um, and getting them adopted they're never in one place for too long um, and then I think that there's just um, the stigma of adopting an older kid. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of people want the younger ones, which is fair, <laughs> fair. But, you know, um, there is something to be said for a young person in foster care who has faced those challenges, who's come in later in their life. How can we help? Now that we've heard the story, I know that, uh, gosh, our audience has big hearts. How can we get involved and help? Um, so a fun way to do it is our upcoming, it's a apparel event, but it's called Freedom Threads. So it's in September. Um, it is uh, part of our program where when a girl has been with us for a year or more, they're able to submit artwork I'm just kind of saying um, what the artwork means to them. They're explaining that on a card. Um, and then we sell those out to the public to get their stories out there. Um, so we're doing the Freedom Threads in September where we're gonna invite the public out to shop um, and to read their stories and just create more awareness. Well, thank you both for the work that you do in our community and just for helping to raise awareness about the need that yeah. exists here. We have all the information about the event and how to get involved, so we will put all of that on our website, cw33.com.